Jamin Salmon reignited his feud with Ricky Stewart when he, well, very clearly screamed weak gutted dog after his try on Friday night. And following the game, his coach Ivan Cleary was asked about the incident and he had this to say. It's a moment for, for Jamin as well, just to draw a line under, under Canberra, I guess. Yeah, good karma. That's how I describe that. Thank you. Thank you, Kenty, your reaction? Oh, it was a mugged comment, to be honest. Look, I don't mind Jamin Salmon saying what he said. If you want to return serve when someone has a shot at you, go for your life. Don't walk around kicking stones and give me the sad face and tell me you're how hurt and all upset and have everyone around giving you a hug and how unfair it is and, 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 and live on the sympathy of that for three months and then you're back in town and you're straight back when you're up 53-12, you come out and you, you fire back at them. It's one or the other. You know, it's character. It's one or the other. And as far as Ivan goes, as a father, or well, as a coach, good on Ivan for standing by his players. As a father, right, who coaches his son, ironically, but as a father, maybe he should have a little bit of understanding of where Ricky was coming from and just elected to say nothing. And, and yeah, my whole problem with this... Ray, uh, this Penrith team, as we've seen once again on the weekend, is they just lack class. They, they, they win grand finals and rub their opponents' noses in it. They do a big, you know, up yours to everybody that gives them any criticism. You watch what happens after this when they get wind of this. I'll be all over their Twitter feeds. But Ricky and, did start and this. And I understand the yeah, reasons, you... but Ricky did start this. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. But they're not allowed and to Ricky... return serve. Return serve if you want, but don't sit there and, and tell us how sad you are and how upset you are by it and then say the exact same thing back six months later when you got your tail up. McKenzie, you know what? The only mugs comment started from Ricky, but you know what? Last year, I remember you wrote a column during State of Origin saying, how boring is this concept now? No one wants to say anything. There's no heroes or villains. There's no pantomime. People are too scared to come out and bag someone. Yeah. Now the very theatre that you're crying out for has been delivered Good. by Ivan Cleary. Yeah. It's magnificent. I yeah. love it. Good on Ivan Good. for saying it. And if I'm a player, I'd say, mate, he's got my back. Yeah. But Ricky led with his chin in boxing parlance and he got an uppercut. I think he deserves it. I know, he's, I know he apologised for it down the track, but I think Ivan's more than within Can his rights to have a crack back. What, what, what after, you after, they, after they acted so hurt and offended last year? You can't have it both ways. If you want to go there and say, good on Ricky last year for saying what you said, Ricky, your turn will come, I'll cop that. But I won't cop you sitting there saying how upset you are and how offended you are by the comment. And then six months later, under different circumstances, you think it's fair go to get, deliver it back. It's mm. one or the other, right? Mm. I, you, I agree with you. I get your point. I totally... I'm not going to argue that. But the fact is, it's one or the other, right? I Don't... agree with you. Ivan was out of order and had no need... To, uh, but I don't have a problem with what Salmon did. It was a square up for a remark mm. that Ricky probably regrets making in the first place. Candy, I don't think the club as a whole, though, is as out of control as you're suggesting. Oh, come on, Buzz. No, Well, you know what? Is there a finer human in this game than Isaiah? Um, yeah. Yeah. Is there? Mm. No, but uh, yeah, you're right. Is there, there are examples look, Dylan, Dylan in that club. Yeah, yeah, look, great, great the, blokes. Course, OK, we've got to There go are mugs in every team. Of course there are. Yeah. But, but that's not the issue. The issue mm. is this. The issue is when they act like mugs, the club, through their tacit appro approval, endorse it. You sit there and you know, you want to you want to start I agree you want to you, you want to teach these young men who come into your club as young men and part of the spiel to mum and dad when you're trying to sign them up is what we're going to do is we're going to teach your young boy to be a good young man and we're going to teach him things because you spend you, you, the parents hand their kids over to these clubs and they go there and they spend all their time there and they spend many of their development years there. And the club has a big impact on the men they grow into. And that's part of the speech that coaches and recruitment guys will, will give players and mums and dads when they're about to sign them. But they're not looked after, which results in things like the wedding last year where Brian Tyre gets up and Jerome Lui makes an absolute mug speech on this young woman's greatest day of her life and everybody's filming it. It ends up all over TikTok. Why wasn't someone there saying, listen, mate, let us at least see your speech? Right? As part of their caretaking for the club and the players. Like, they are not being educated to show any humility or class. And if well, you want to sit there and keep defending that, then you're going to be part of the problem too.
All right, let's get to... So this is the best thing for Canberra, what happened with Salmon and Cleary, because we're not talking about the fact they <laughs> folded like origami on in the second half. <laughs> they conceded 40 in the second half. Mm. 40 in 40 minutes. It was competitive at half-time. It was 13-6. Buzz, these are bad signs. They are bad signs, particularly with their marquee man, Jack White, and on the open market or looking to extend elsewhere. And they tell me as much as it's about money, he also wants a premiership ring one day. And you look at that Canberra side and there is concern about the roster. In their favour, they have a very strong SG ball side leading the competition. 18-year-olds, though, not ready for NRL. They have a recruitment problem and it's nothing to do with Ricky or Don Ferner. It's mm. geographical. Mm. That they bought Poms in, Bateman, Williams and Whitehead, but they haven't been able to land big names because, Kenny, no one, Peter, no one wants to live in the national capital in the middle of winter. And I can't see as much as I've that spoken about... That does excuse their performance on the weekend. That's no, no, it, it doesn't. But what I'm trying to say is, is that a one-off? Or is it a long-term... It's not, it's not a long-term buzz because well, it was... Who are they going to fix well, the Well, it was 13-6 at half-time against the reigning mm. premiers. They just lost their way in the second half. The concern in the second half is without White in there as a senior playmaker mm. and without other players there as senior players who can pull them in, they're, they're, they're a relatively young squad in many ways. Well, Newcastle Certainly been without Ponga, Kenny, since... Okay, you know, like, right, and we can always find... We can always well, find... Well, of course. Okay, I, I get all that yeah. buzz. But that's a problem for the Raiders, OK? They, they were poor on the weekend and they need to fix it up. And as for White and saying, you know, and this is one thing I can't cop, he wants to win a premiership, so he's going to go and find a club where he can win a premiership. Mm. How hollow is that going to be? If he goes and signs with a team that's sitting one, two or three... The Dolphins, for example. Well, yeah. well not the, they're not going to win one. Yeah. Right, not in the next three years, right? Yeah. But if he goes and signs with a... With Penrith, for example, or the Roosters, yeah, or, no. or one of those two, is he, how much has he really contributed to that premiership? As opposed to being spending your, your career at a club where you've been the best paid player, the player charged to take you there, and he can't get them there. I went back and looked at his quotes in 2019, 2020, when he did his last contract, and it was so passionate about Canberra and how good the club had been to, how he wants to win his comp here, he wants to be a one club player like the champions Daly, Stewart, Clyde Clyde ended up at Canterbury so did Ricky mm. but uh, he, he's just gone away from that theme now yeah, I don't know why, look, look Canberra, yeah, yeah the recruitment is since Peter Van Holland passed sadly uh, they've had but to fill that hole graphic, mate. That, is, that is part of it but, but Part of that's picking the kids from the bush who are happy living in a place like Canberra. They, they used to have a great you, catchment you, you area down there. You can't get kids from the bush anymore. Yeah, well, you can, Buzz, but... I just... Like, like I, look, Ricky was matter. on the look, Gold Coast You talk January. about their, their gun kids. They've got a gun kids side. A couple of years ago, yeah, they won, they won the... Uh, I think right. it was the flag down as well. So they've got good kids coming through. It's going to take some time to get there. The young guys in the team now still need more footy under their belt. Mm. But... The way they surrendered on Friday evening was unacceptable. And, I, and, I, yeah. I think, Kenty, too, the problem is we all know spines are the key these days. I, I don't think in Jamal Fogarty they've got a guy that can get it done week to week. I think he's a solid first grader, but if Ricky thinks he's the seven that's going to be but that's steering the problem, them to but the, the whole shit, spine is, is it, essentially lost. rookies. 100%. Hold on. That's, that's Nickel Clogstad. Uh, Hodgson's gone. Yeah. The, the, the spine is why the score was able to put him on... Put, get put on them, right? Because once Penrith got a roll and Canberra just needed someone to get through the sit sets, Common Boys just kicked to the corners, let's settle it down, let's get back into a rhythm. Th there was just no one there that could do it. Yeah. There was no one in the spine that could take charge like they needed to do. And that's the problem. And it, it is a very inexperienced spine. There, there are 